Hi, I'm Divya. I work as an Applications Engineer in Texas Instruments DLP. I'm going to show you how to remove the light engine on DLP Light Crafter. Let's get started. Studigia is here to help me out. So remember that by taking the steps we show here, you'll avoid the warranty on the Light Crafter. First, we'll remove the systems board by unscrewing the top screws on the four corners. Make sure you keep equally sized screws together and when you remove the systems board from the EVM, apply equal force in the center so you won't break the connector here. Okay, now flip the light crafter and you'll see there are four screws which connects the light engine to the thermal plate. Let's unscrew these four. Now we have to remove the three screws on the light engine which connects the light engine to the thermal plate and use a mini screwdriver it will be easy to get in and get the screws out. The tricky part next is to pull the flex cables from the EVM and then remember that these, these flex cables are very fragile. So lift the plastic tab up and then you can use the tweezer to move the flex cables out. And now there are two screws which connects the DMD to the EVM. So we have to remove these two screws. When you're taking off the light engine, make sure you lift it up and then also pull it from the adapter board at the same time. Once the light engine is off, you'll see a steel plate which is holding the DMD. So unscrew the two tiny screws here. When you take the plate off, you can see the DMD. So you can either use a tweezer or be careful with your hand when you pull the DMD out. So when you take off the DMD, and keep the light engine aside. And then when you look at the adapter board, you can take the DMD and then the triangular notch on the DMD should be towards the right 
and carefully insert the DMD back into the adapter board and, and the orientation should be taken care of. Now you can connect the systems board back and then most of the customers would like to flip over the systems board and the driver board 180 degrees so you can have the optics on the other side. Thanks for watching. Please visit our Solutions and Services tab on ti.com slash DLP to find out more about third-party accessories and flex cables. Thank you.